I was wrong. I was totally wrong. I didn't realize how wrong I was, but then it all came to me in a dream. And I'm here to tell you about the dream that is the best cap and can combination. It is not the booster stock tip. Actually, let me show you something real quick. This is the booster stock tip, just so y'all know. Pretty sick, very, very sick. But it also drains your can really fat, and it's kind of a one-trick pony, you know what I'm saying? So sometimes we like to uh, sauce things up a little bit. And what I'm gonna show you guys today is the Boston Fat, which used to be my least favorite cap, but now might be one of my favorite caps of all time with the booster can. So let's go ahead and check it out because you won't believe this. All right guys, make sure your cans are properly shaken, shaken not stirred, give it a little bit of a rattle daddle, a little razzle dazzle if you will. Uh, also make sure you test your cap first and this is just gonna blow your mind guys, I'm telling you what. Let's check it out. There we go. Getting started sooner or later. Make sure the cap is properly seated as you can see here. But we get these beautiful, soft, buttery flares off these cans. I mean, they are just fantastic. The way that these flares open up is something special because you get this very solid line with this little rat tail, but then at the same time you get this beautiful explosion of, of flary goodness, man. It's super amazing. Let's do a quick tag here real quick. I've never seen a flare like this. It has so much flow and so much character to it. I mean, I'm getting well over five finger spreads on these. Uh, this is five fingers right here, and this is the small line that I'm getting. This is fatter than a pink dot, substantially fatter than a pink dot. But at the same time, you can get these lines that just get super skinny with it if you freak the can just perfectly, which I can do. Um, I'm very impressed with it. This cap and can combo is like nothing else that I've ever seen. And, I found this combo. That's right. All right, guys, let's go ahead and do a couple more tags just for the fun of it. Um, I like to do these kind of R's like this where you flare from the bottom like this. I think it has a lot of flavor, you know? It's got like this kind of like dreadlock rat tail coming out the bottom. Just looks kind of cool to me. And I don't know anyone else who does that, so. It's the GRR. Wow. Look at this flare. It's amazing. I'm telling you guys, this is the coolest cap combination I've ever seen. Look at that. Amazing. All right. Let's go ahead and move on a little bit. Uh, I gotta give you guys a little bit of a, a little bit of a, what do you say? Encouragement, encouragement to get out on the streets. Look at this. We get these little tiny little rat tails coming off the bottom of it. I mean, it's phenomenal. I am so impressed with the ability of these things to, to flare so nicely. We're out of room, guys. Look at that, it even made the eyeballs right there. Pretty amazing stuff. I just gotta do some more tags, let's do it. Let's do it, guys. The 
Let's do this. Oh, I think I'm in love, guys. I really, truly think I'm in love. Like I said, in order to get a really fat spray out of these cans, it's really important to actually thin the paint down a little bit so it sprays fatter. You know, think of like a, I don't know, like a Windex. You know, the spray Windex and the spray can, it sprays really fat because the formula is really thin. Same thing with these high pressure cans. So when you put this soft cap on it, uh, with the very soft spray, you're actually gonna save a lot of paint. These guys are killing me back here. So hopefully you can hear what I'm saying. Bottom line, you guys are gonna love this cap combo. I think you guys are really gonna enjoy it. If you're going out tagging with your friends, this will really surprise them, because it really surprised me. So before I get out of here, um, I think we should do a couple little uh, replies to some of the video comments. You guys really seem to like it, so give me about two seconds, we'll get set up, we'll make that happen. Uh, okay guys, we got a couple YouTube comments to read. Let's go ahead and check them out real quick. The first one is from Dick Diamonds. Um, Wait a minute. I wanted to let you know that I got a spring fever mop about a year ago and the tags are still up nicely. Uh, very little fade and after a year and in the weather, the shit is mad decent. Well, thank you, Dick Diamonds. I appreciate that. Uh, the next one is from Billy's Graph Reviews. Billy's Graph Reviews. I think he has a graph review channel on YouTube. He says, ah, I see you, GR. Been dropping more videos lately. Every time you drop a video, I get happy. Well, thank you very much, Billy. I appreciate it. And I'll be sure to check out your channel. It does say Billy's Graph Review, so that must be what's going on over there. Okay, up next is DJ Sneak Freak, a longtime poster on the channel. Real cool dude. Uh, he says, absolutely right about the bare spray paint in the flare caps. Big fan. Uh, so smooth coming out of the can, lays down thick when painting properly. Very good advice. Uh, also, Mr. Perry Taylor, bro. You know it's a good day when Art Primo posts a video. Keep them coming. And you know what? That's what I'm going to do for you guys. We're going to be making videos all the way to the end of the year, baby. So I hope to see you soon on the next episode of GR Reviews. See you later. I like to make graffiti videos Cause the kids like to watch them I'm a total degenerate burnout But I get paid really well To do what I do Alright, we're at 